In the previous video, we had dealt with the basics of the Arduino IDE and specifically about the Arduino Uno board. Now, let's move up a notch. This time, we shall start some very simple yet important projects. Well, to be brutally honest, let's call them experiments. We will be pursuing three projects of experiments here. The first one is the making LED, the second one is the fading LED, and the third one is the traffic lights. For those conceptually curious, we are utilizing what we learned in the last video to do some simple work which will help in the growth of Arduino knowledge by leaps and bounds. Again, for in detail data, do click on this link and check out the webpage. Now, introducing our main component for these projects, most watching would have already guessed and you are right, it's the LED. We all know about the LED, its structure and function, yet for those who aren't familiar about it, you can visit this link. Also, some important safety tips for the experiment and board are included in there. Wouldn't hurt to just breeze through them once. Let's read this screen as if you are staring at a stage. In a short while, I'll introduce two main dignitaries onto it. But before that, I would like to thank all our viewers joining us today here. If, you're, if you like what you are seeing, kindly check out the dedicated website channel here in this link. Do not forget to ring the bells to be notified about future content. Thank you. Our two main things for today are the components list and the methodology. They will be with us through the entire video. Let's begin the simple blinking LED experiment. So what are the components necessary? The materials required are an Arduino Uno board, two male to male jumper wires, an LED, a 500 ohms resistor, a breadboard and a type B USB cable. Here a small suggestion is in order. Now would be a great time to temporarily pause the video and make sure you have all the parts. This will ensure that you don't miss any further part of the video. If you are seeing this, then it must mean that you already have the required parts arranged and accessible. Great. We will now move on to the procedure part. It will show you how to make the required connections and also present the program for functioning. If you have a blinking early something like this, Step 1 is done and you are progressing well. I don't know if I mentioned it, but here it goes. The fading LED experiment is the real deal. It's the tough nut to crack. What you have already done is a, like a step on a ladder. Now would be a great time to pause this video and try the do it yourself way. However, to benefit all our viewers, the components is necessary are here. And kindly again a gentle reminder, keep the components ready and then progress on. The materials required are an Arduino Uno board two male to male jumper wires, an LED, a 500 ohms resistor, a breadboard and a type B USB cable. Here we present to you the right approach to crack it. If you are here then congratulations on completing two parts of the video. For those who found the previous sections easy, don't worry the next one is even easier. Uh, it's a small traffic light system. We will be using three LEDs for the project. It's a simulation of the all familiar traffic lights. First fact, December 9th, 1868 was the first time the traffic lights were used. They were used outside the Houses of Parliament in London. As regulations, the peripherals required are an Arduino Uno board, three LEDs, seven male to male jumper wires, three resistors, a breadboard and a USB type B cable. Before we jump into the means of doing it, I would like to take this chance, thank all our viewers for supporting us by watching this video. I request everyone to share and like our content. Further, do ensure that this bell icon looks like this to remind you when we, have, when we post future videos. And without further ado, 